Hello Internet, I am John. Welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris 3.14 Determined Exterminators. Uh, last time, we continued our war on the Federation. Um, we took most of their territory. Uh, we're starting to take worlds in their space. We're building relays into their space. Um, we're, we, we started resettling all their pops to the lathe. Um, we might think about... Uh, if I have the logic for it. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm mostly interested in the lathe for getting science points, not advanced logic points. So, building more copies of the district that gives us science. Um, I had relatively few notes from last time from looking at game state between games. Uh, I did want to take a look at this wormhole. We got wormhole tech, and I forgot to explore wormholes. That's kind of the, the the theme this time is like I researched these techs and forgot to actually use them, and it was the same with orbital rings. So I think that's something I need to get better at. Um, we got military academies and haven't built one. They give unity jobs, so I guess we'll do it on the unity world, uh, and also a global uh, naval cap bonus, which is great. Um, I was gonna reallocate one of my scientists. Um, I'm interested in particular in grabbing like the Marauder debris over here. I think it was this one. Oh, it won't show me now. Um, yeah, this one had like a lot of stuff, so we'll grab that one and then it puts him in the right spot to do a couple others um, before it expires because it's pretty close. Um, what else? I need just a ton of armies, right? We're at the point where we've taken all the... Oh, there was one more thing. Yeah, okay. Um, we've we've basically beaten their navies, and we're just kind of cleaning up all the scattered systems and taking planets. So I need a lot more armies. I think I need to be mustering them in more than one sector, probably. Um, battle frames, pretty good. I, I don't really want to be spending alloys. I want to be banking alloys, and the reason for that is that the switch to escorts will be very expensive, and also uh, if the con pops... I may need to burn my fleet to beat him, and then need to refleet, and that will be very alloy expensive. Um, so we're going to stick to battle frames. Battle frames are pretty good. Um, and I got lots of minerals to burn, so... Um, what else? Uh, yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep growing alloy production. Um, and energy. That's kind of the... Energy is really my limiting factor here, where if I had more energy, I could build more nanocauldrons and get more alloys, and also I could feed more science. Um, we're already kind of doing that here. Is there anywhere else? Uh, was this one all they built out? Yeah, pretty much. Um, hmm. It still has pop... Uh, jobs open. Okay. Um... There was, there was also an interesting thing I noticed with the... Oh, a fun little glitch. I don't know if it's, any, if it's useful, um, but we can talk to the curators, and we have the option, like, the, they didn't block the, uh, the Grand Archive options off for genocidals. Um, I, don't, I don't know, interested in... Okay, so we can get society research or leader experience gain. A thousand energy for plus five percent society research, not bad. And we, we're getting. Huh, okay. So I guess you, like, as, as you unlocked more exhibits, that opens up more dialogue options with them. Um, but that's pretty funny. And I guess it's, is it a permanent modifier? It is. Okay. Um, I'm also thinking we might want to do some of these, uh, like, um, amoeba and, like, void cloud gives plus percent phys or plus ten percent physics, and amoeba gives ev a global evasion bonus. And I think we probably do also want to do um, the uh, crystals give global energy. I think so. We'll do that one as well. Um, yeah, so we were, we were gathering armies up here to invade these couple of big um, Pokemon worlds. 
Yeah, so we'll get flagellating movement for plus 5% Special project uh, evasion. And physics research from jobs. Um, and then we'll do the crystal study as well, which I think is like plus 5% global uh, energy from jobs, which again addresses a problem that we definitely have. So. Two point seven, six hundred. Yeah, okay. And this one is pretty good. Uh, branch office. Um, Technological and some some decent system. alloy production. Well, Ship not that much. Okay. Um, yeah, I was afraid this would happen. I was afraid that we were just citadels and battleships. Uh, right when I wanted to do be doing escorts. How long on escorts now? 105, so it's going up. Um, citadels... So, we, if we don't need citadels and battleships for mecha engineering, do we really need citadels and battleships? Like, I'm tempted for, to do citadels for their kind of uh, star-based economy utility, but Star Fortresses already get all six module slots. Um, so it's just the last, like, building slot, which isn't that useful. Um, the fleet command them would be nice, I guess. I think maybe we just... Uh, the, the alloy output is also very tempting. Um, hmm. I think maybe we just do escorts, though. Let's get that started. It's time. Hostile stationary asset we yeah, okay, so there's more energy. Okay, so that's adjacent to... That's kind of interesting. It seems like there's nobody back here. That could just be empty space. That, that could be, I mean, when we picked uh, Pretherin, right? Pretherin could land back here if nobody's colonized it, but... Hmm. And this would also be a fine fleet to use for grabbing outlying worlds without real star bases. Alert, spaceport engaged. Alert, non standard space entity encountered. Hostile stationary asset engaged. This is their shipyard? Oh, they're beast ports. Is this one Beast Ports? No. If I asked you to upgrade, where would you go? All the way home? Nah. Um, Hostile fleet assets engaged. Okay, so there's some pre-FTLs here. Early Space Age. They might try to take the system, but that's fine. We'll just take it. Um, rings, obviously, are interesting to us because they're very dense uh, in terms of planets per system. Um, yeah. How strong are their armies? There was a really funny bug for a while where uh, pre-FTLs had really strong armies. This? Okay, that's Tianki. Huh. How do I discover an archaeological site that I can just... In a system I can barely see? I don't know. I was also thinking... We could... Um... I, I was thinking we could kind of have start military build up and have it ready in case the con pops we can fire it and get all the build speed but I don't know the war exhaustion gain isn't amazing for us the claim influence cost doesn't matter so 
I guess we'll just stay on it for opportunities for a little longer. Why do you, you guys, you just won't stay dead. The Starbase would probably beat it. Alert, spaceport engaged. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. That was here. 2.6, so we lost about 300 army. That's going to be a big influx of pops to the lathe. Okay, fine, for now. I'm probably not going to use these. Definitely not use those. Why are you guys moving there? That's definitely not what I want. Oh, they're moving there because that's the star base I mustered them at. That was that was foolish. Um, I should have mustered them like here. That would have put them much closer to where I want them to go. Shield generators. Wow, we have a lot of guaranteed options now. Holy cow! Maybe we can get steel uh, steel combat computers. Anything we really want that we aren't, that we don't have guaranteed for later. Research complexes might be okay. Um, research station output, I don't know how much that matters to us with the lathe at this point. It's not like bad, but it's not the bulk of what we're doing right now. Um, what I really want is the next tier of reactors because we're already kind of running into reactor problems. Uh, we don't have the energy to do all three small ion disruptors as well as the uh, both shields. Um, and we're if we get like more uh, thrust, well, yeah. So the the real question, tech wise, is like, what do I do to get the next tier of reactors? I don't think I have tier five physics open yet. And you know, some of this this stuff that's like twenty k. Is probably a better bet for opening that than this low tier stuff. So I think maybe we do do advanced combat rolls. Just on that basis. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Oh. Um. Do I? I. Uh, yeah, we'll. It's not uh, interesting. This the storm doesn't like strip shields or anything. But yeah, it's it's not a fight that I'm desperate to take. Okay, so that, that's mostly amoebas, uh, and then this this one little fleet. Oh. Council agenda ready. Mm 
hostile fleet assets engaged. Alert, station engaged. Don't love jumping in nebulas. Who knows it'll be there. Unless they're get, handing out Federation Associations. No uh, crisis, crisis war proposal yet. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Ship fragments dissected. Hostile stationary asset engaged. A soul. Oh. Is it? Yeah, okay, I think it is solar system soul. Okay, this is the kaleidoscope. Um, I don't really know how the kaleidoscope works, but we'll keep an eye on it. Oh, I'm an extra 700. Yeah, I can delay the invasion for get an extra 700 ready. Engaged. Am I losing energy from the kaleidoscope or from a big influx of pops to the lathe? I don't actually know. So this is where all their their fleets are coming back out, I guess. I would like another army group to send down here. So those will muster here. That makes sense to do them there. Technological acquisition successful. Combat rolls. Come on, reactors. Again, I, I could get dark matter reactors, but I don't want to piss off the Fallen Empires too badly. Um, sensor upgrade. That's that looks like a tier up, right? We don't, haven't been seeing forty fives. Maybe maybe I do have access, and now I should just. Be, be grinding through low tier techs. How did I get that as a guaranteed tech? That's interesting. Better sensors are nice, but not super important. Fleet assets engaged. Right, we got shield generators. Um, that's not the one we're actually using as a fortress world.
spaceport engaged. Hostile stationary asset engaged. They're getting stronger, but not as faster as we are. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Uh, I think they're they're not full on alert. Station engaged. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Technological acquisition successful. Ship intellect's pretty good. Yeah, we're definitely in a, in a higher tier now for physics. And fast, too. Wow, the lathe is really going. Um, I don't really want our chaos studies. I don't really want any of these. Um, we could get whole tissue, I guess. I don't really need it as badly with nanites because of um, nanite repair. This, at least, we have some on our, our main worlds, I think. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Um, okay, so the interesting ones here are Empire Size and Leader Lifespan. Um, we will do Empire Size first because it will speed Leader Lifespan out sooner. I think we still have a scientist somewhere on auto survey, but I'm not really sure where. Or auto, auto like projects. Oh, this is the one we just took. Faculty of Arcade Studies. Nice. So much crime. <laughs> How do you still have blockers? Maybe this is from Devastation. Maybe I ruined it. Yeah, I'm surprised my attrition from... Okay, so most of my attrition at this point is just time. The, uh, the army losses are not that significant, and I should... How did I lose 44 ships? I was at like 20. That's interesting. I wonder if it counts army losses or something. Hmm. We're approaching starbase cap. Yeah, shipyard there's okay. I don't really want an anchorage there. Is this defense? Um, that's not a choke point either, really. Quantum catapult. Interesting. This is what, like a thousand? A lot, yeah. Pretty good. 
producing, yeah, like one and a half K science. Oh, we could think about ascending the lathe. That would also be an option. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Um, Governor, menial pop output. Or assembly speed. Assembly speed is okay. Let's go just hunt annoying transports. Is there some stuff? Yeah, there's still some stuff in here that I haven't t taken. Um, there's no reason I shouldn't have that one either. Technological acquisition successful. Oh, that was uh, that was finishing from salvage, not from actual work. Um, hmm. Yeah, don't really want any of these. Hull tissue at least pushes us forward tier-wise. It's it's fairly high. I don't really have any use for those districts. I'm never going to find the worlds that actually have the mountains on them. I probably just shouldn't worry about it. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Okay, so we're out of uh, special projects on this side of this starbase, I guess? I don't know. Pretty sure we still have some more salvage. Was that also that was okay? So we salvaged auto cannons. That would have been over here, I guess. Yeah, we still have projects. I don't know why he can't get to him. Construction complete. Oh, that's some bioship stuff. Alert. Spaceport engaged. That was unavoidable, probably. I probably went around 3k. Let's just bite the bullet. They're not getting any stronger, at least, which is nice. It's going to be a lot of... No, no, just... Oh, interesting. You know, I needed another general... Or admiral, actually. Let's see if they're any good. Aggressive is good. 
Um, discount is fine. Bulldozer is not, you know, not really what we want, but, uh, you know, it'll be okay. I've had worse. Hostile stationary asset engaged. I guess we got mining hubs. Maybe I should build those. In our nanite harvester station assist systems, they are they're they're growing, right? We're at what thirty seven nanites and sixty two nanites, so it's it's gradually picking up. There were like one and three at the beginning, so technological acquisition successful. Hull tissue. That's that addresses a problem that I'm having, kind of. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Okay, I actually build armies pretty fast. I'm surprised. I guess because it's so parallel. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Alert. Station engaged. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. How much of this is army upkeep, I wonder? Probably a fair bit. Yeah, we're, we're growing our army upkeep a lot. I can find some unemployed pops to resettle here. Or, or underemployed pups. Technological acquisition successful. Naval cap is okay. We're picking up a lot of anchorages, but still. Alert. Spaceport engaged. This is, um, mercenaries. We'll see who gets there first. And that would unblock their shipyard. Construction complete. Okay, they're gonna head this way. Ship fragments. Which is fine. Council at construction complete. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Technological acquisition successful. Gateways? Can't skip gateways. Okay, there's our mining hubs. Let's see what that does. 88, 58. Okay, so not like really doubled because we already had some bonuses from the uh, or stacks additively with the um, arc furnaces. I maybe I should upgrade that again. That would give us some more alloy output. Two Ks. We're we're capped on alloys, so we can totally do that. Reasonable. Um, I don't. I knew I wanted to build up an alloy bank. I didn't mean capping out on it. Maybe I should do mega engineering and that'll raise the cap too. This energy is going to be kind of going to become a problem. I don't really have an answer there. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Besides, like disbanding the armies uh, or spending them all, taking hard planets.
No hotkey for disabled buildings, sadly. That's interesting. Huh. We can leave tech drones. Um, let's let's not. Uh, my thinking here is we want the planet under 10 pops because we're this will stick around if we nanoform it. So that's what we'll do. It's not a big world either. But after that, we'll definitely grow it for um, generators. That's a bunch of uh, minor artifacts. Hmm. It's not just armies. I think it's armies plus the lathe. 692. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, we're at plus 3k science. Or, yeah. Just from the lathe. So we're getting what we're paying for. We're just going to need to start selling minerals and food and such to finance it. I mean, I, we, we could have, we could go after them first. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Yeah. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Like to see the little trails when things, things explode. What is that? Why is it flickering? I don't know. How strange. I really have no idea why they're all doing that. It's kind of alarming. Don't care. Planetary surface settlement established. You know, I think I got this message earlier and didn't act on it. There's probably some some planet somewhere that's just soaking my pops as maintenance drones that I don't know about. Okay, but seriously, are you just showing me all of my planets? Like... I really don't know what this is about. Oh, we'll get the teapot. Hopefully he doesn't go too mad.
Construction complete. Um, this is the one that is actually blocking at least one generator district somewhere. But the naval cap, that's a really expensive naval cap though. We'll draw this again. It'll be fine. Okay, there's another round of resource silos. Engaged. Okay, good enough. There's an action. Uh, is this all transports? It might all be transports. Oh, there is one one actual ship in there. Leader lifespan. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Three out of six. This looks more like six out of six to me. I guess we have three. It and we only have two with the uh, eager. It is it is five two with eager. Okay, I just can't count. Automated repair system. That would be pretty good for these kind of like extended wars away from bases that we're doing. Hmm. Oh, where's my other like army fleet? Okay, they're in motion. Good. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Construction complete. Alert, spaceport engaged. Alert, station engaged. Technological acquisition successful. Oh, again, from salvage, ripper auto cannons. I guess from the marauders. Um, amenities penalty on our ruler. <sighs> That's when we can't can't reroll, can't get rid of. So this is a Marauder fleet coming back out, um, way up here. That's okay. We have a fleet near there. Construction complete. Um, I don't really care about Council Agenda Speed right now. Monthly Society Research is fine. Construction complete. Versus losing a decent commander. I mean, I assume he's decent. Okay, so this took...
Let's make sure my, my robot species rights are all set to uh, assimilation. I think they are. We definitely don't want undesirables. Weird. I, I should just be able to set this once. I don't know why I have to do it for every robot subspecies. Relatively small garrison. That's like a decent choke point system. We could turn it into a fortress. Okay. This is engaging the Marauder mercenaries again. Looking pretty good. Closer to 4k output now. Why did everything light up? Oh, we got a bunch of intel on Corinth, I guess. <laughs> Here be dragons. Uh, huh. What, I mean, anything interesting here? Seven, 700 fleet, 730, that's 720, uh, cl up closer to 30k now than it was to 20. So they're, they're still growing that fleet. Construction complete. Special project complete. Technological I didn't acquisition successful. do anything. Okay. Escorts. Durasteel will be pretty good. That's definitely the thing we want. I'm happy to steel or or mega engineering, one of the, but uh, um, yeah. All right, let's let's look at these escorts. What can I actually do with these? <laughs> um, yeah, eight hundred alloy. We don't really have great components for them. Yet. Plenty of energy. Do I want double afterburners or regenerable tissue? They're not super durable. Um, maybe after double afterburners is better. Yeah, we, we haven't been able to upgrade the combat computers for power. Um, I, ultimately, I do really want missiles in these slots to help saturate point defense. We could also do a little bit of... Because they're relatively vulnerable to um, fighters. Because they rely on evasion for defense. But um, I'm just kind of looking at the, the effects... 60 damage per second, 12 damage per second, costs 150, costs 800, 150 times 5 is 750, yeah, so the, the damage per alloy is pretty similar, um, they cost 5 times as much, they have 5 times as much hull, evasion 78 versus 71, so the evasion is better than our corvettes. And part of that is probably that they can afford to have better stuff due to power. Um, how, how's the speed? Speed is 207 versus 216 for the Corvettes, so they're just slightly slower. But we could mix them into the Corvettes and it wouldn't slow them down that much. Into the Corvette fleets and wouldn't slow them, wouldn't slow them down that much. Or we could just start building a new... Uh, fleet with them. So it would be 80k 
in a single fleet for 120 supply. We have the naval cap. We have the alloys, I think. We're pretty close. Yeah, right about. Um, so we could just do that. And then that gives us a much better shot if the con pops. Because the torpedoes are pretty good against, like, galleons and their cruisers and things. And that's just a huge amount of... Like, that's that's as much as... That, that's almost as much as all of our fleets combined. So, um, I think we, we're at, like, what, 30, 30, 27, 30. So we're at, like, 120, 125, something like that. And this is worth 80. So that would give put us a 200k fleet power. Yeah, I think we do it. Because I need more upkeep. Titanic life. Nascent locust. I wonder if the Batharian fields stick around if I nanoform it. I don't know. Let's find out. I'll never check again, but it's an interesting question at least. Oh, it's gonna be small. Yeah, okay. How you guys doing down here? Actively invading, actively fighting. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. A lot of tech, no maintenance drones. All right, let's let's finally land on their capital. Let's, yeah, easy fight. Technological acquisitions are just ready. Fleet command them, it would be great. That was a sell, not a buy, right? Alert. Yeah, okay, good. Spaceport engaged. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Yeah, I think I should just be fishing for reactor, which means rolling through low level techs. You, you know, I don't need the reactors on the escorts, though. But it would make all of our corvettes stronger, so that's... Not... Not nothing. Um, not negligible. That I'll actually use. Oh, and we picked up cloaking! How would we... Did we... We killed something with cloaking that wasn't cloaked. Interesting. Cloaking would actually be really handy. For, like, science ship stuff. And it wouldn't take long. Right, where is this? This is probably our Marauders again. Ship fragments dissected. Council of Gems raised port deconstructed. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Hundred and twenty pops on the lathe, putting out about five K science at a thousand energy per month. I'm debating the wisdom of um, 
adopting synaptic servitude as my default uh, policy. That helps us solve a problem we currently have. It won't help much. There's not a whole lot you can do about a thousand energy a month. Besides building a Dyson Sphere, but it'll take too long. Um, how quickly is this purging, actually? 300, okay, so we're purging like three pops a month, so it should go down, right? The issue, I'm, I'm racing against my war exhaustion here, basically. Um, Spaceport engaged. Alert. Spaceport deconstructed. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Council agenda ready. Nuclear escalation. Oh no. There's our about an hour. Um, you know, i still not clear on what these buttons do. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty, pretty lousy set. Finally, blocker clearing. Alert. Spaceport engaged. There was one of these stars up here had, had pretty good stats. No, not that one. For if I were to build another Dyson Swarm. I don't know if you can build Dyson Swarms in these, like, multi... Nah, I don't think you can. Eight's not bad. What are... Uh, well, we've been picking up bonuses, though. I'm curious. What are our, like, initial... These homeworlds up to? Ten? Yeah, okay. We can go with a ten. I wonder how much, uh, we, we're probably picking up a lot of crisis points just from grinding through techs using lathe points. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll hit this fairly soon. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Oh, we, we captured it. You guys gotta tell me these things. We could turn off some nano forges. That would save a little bit of power. Especially like our worst nano forges that are least supported by governors. I think I, I thought I had some over here somewhere. Maybe not.
we turned off four these four forges, it would save us 100 energy per month. It's not not terrible actually, and it would cost us you know 80 alloy a month. Actually, yeah, we don't need, um, oh, yeah, yeah, we could, we could, that, that's easy. There's a pops there. Resettlement chance would help us too. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just going to go look for more forges to disable. Temporarily. We'll re-enable them once we're done lathing all these pops. You know, there's also this thing that reduces job upkeep. That might be good. Maybe we should have, have another of those. Yeah, see, look at that. We turned off a bunch of uh, of forges, and now our, our energy situation is... We bought ourselves like twice as much time as we had. Oh, I guess maybe that, that helped too. But um, Okay, here's the zero-point reactor. Let's grab that. Um, that seems like a reasonable stopping point. Our energy problems are under control. We have... Uh, this, this torpedo fleet, excuse me, it's a cat, um, is coming out, is, is powering up. Uh, at this point, it's 2312, the con could, could fire, but at this point, with everything we have, um, the, this torpedo fleet coming out makes me a lot more comfortable with that possibility. Um, and then once we get the zero point reactor, we can also upgrade all of our corvettes to, uh, better combat computers and better... Um, you know, the third tier three disruptor and things like that. So, um, I'm pretty, I mean, this is, this is, uh, a situation we're going to have to keep an eye on. I might have to slow my roll with taking more planets, um, to kind of keep that situation sustainable, but I think things are okay. Things are going to be all right. So thank you for watching.